Hello everyone, Dan here and welcome back to Dan Plays The Bunny Vaza Got The Birth. It's time for another challenge run. Oh this one's fun. Demo Man. Is the one with remote detonator Dr. Fetus? Uh, yep. Yeah, this, this one should be the easiest challenge so far. Just, just period. I mean, you got a fun synergy. You've got tons of power. We've got not nerfed Dr. Fetus. This was like a pain in the butt back when Dr. Fetus was nerfed, but was still usable back then, but this this will be nice and quick. There's really nothing hard about this one. I mean, sure, the more... I don't know what the damage upgrades matter, but I think the more bomb synergies we get, the more... the more easier this gets. That, that's not an English sentence, Dan, but either way, you get what I mean here, okay? This round will be easy no matter what. Dr. Fetus is just too powerful. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey man, hope everyone's doing alright today. I'm doing pretty good. Join my my Friday. But now 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 it's my technically my Saturday. You know. I got my two days off. Because I gotta get some recording done. Decided I'm gonna go ahead and start Paper Mario on the channel, even though I literally said I wasn't gonna do it until I'm done with Dark Souls. Then I realized that, you know, the channel seems a little bit empty. Because I mean, you look at the channel, only Dark Souls has been uploaded for like the past while now. Gungeon's gone. And just, you know, without Gungeon being around, the channel doesn't have many videos on it now. It's just Dark Souls and Isaac. That's it. Literally. And I know I just did another Mario RPG recently, Superstar Saga. But Paper Mario was what I was going to play originally. And I just decided, you know what, I didn't complete Superstar Saga on the old channel. I might as well play that first. And I did. I had fun. Paper Mario is the one I'm more familiar with. Paper Mario will probably also be a quicker playthrough just because, like I said, I've played that I've played through that game so many times. I literally just I know how to deal with that game. Versus Superstar Saga, I've only beaten once, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and just start Paper Mario, get another series going on the channel. I'm tired of it looking so empty and void of videos. That's not how I do, man. I know I want to focus on Dark Souls 3, but that's not how I do leaving the channel so empty like this and void of videos. It, it bothers me. Uh, no. Uh, no, thank you. I will pass on that endeavor right there. I'm going to pass on pretty much all space bar items because you don't give it up. Not on this run. Not today. Maybe some other day. Oh man. Yeah, I fear I'm probably gonna disappoint some people. You know, not playing some crazy mainstream series that I, you know, not, basically not, not playing any recent modern games. Because I've seen it. I've seen it. I know, you know, the modern popular games get more feedback. Oh, and if. I'm actually gonna take Rosary Beat for the Devil, for the Angel Rooms, actually. Um. If I could have kept doing Yu-Gi-Oh, I would, but the freaking game kept crashing, literally, every time I attempted to, to play it, it, it just kept crashing. I was going to continue to play through on my own, but it kept crashing, so I was just like, alright, well, fuck it, I'm not going to do it anymore. So, that's why I'm like, you know what, you know, the fact that the channel is so quiet, I gotta, I gotta have something going on, or it's just, it's just not me. Yeah, it, was, it makes me feel like I'm getting lazy if I'm not doing more than one series on the channel, so... There you go. Plus, I, I can't, like, keep torturing myself with only Dark Souls and, like, not having a... a... a light hearty... not like a light hearted game to play in the meantime, because... If I literally only play Dark Souls, like, I don't think I'll be able to... to... to game... properly, basically. The salt from Dark Souls will spill over into everything, and it will just... It won't be good. It'd be terrible. I literally would just... Would just collapse from all the salt. But, I heard an announcement that Dark Souls 3 is actually the last Dark Souls in the series. So I don't have to worry about any more surprise Dark Souls games coming out and be like, Hey, what's up? No. Once I complete Dark Souls 3, I think I can officially say oh, I'll probably be done with the Dark Souls series. But then you paid so much money for it, aren't you gonna try and play 
play more of it, you know, play different perspectives, you know, play a mage, play something else. Ah! Ah! I don't know, man. There are some other things I need to do outside of Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 has taken up so much of my time that I haven't been able to play Tree of Savior as much as I wanted to. And I haven't been able to play anything else. Not that that's a, not that that's a bad thing, to be honest. But Dark Souls 3, like, is... Dark Souls just in general is a game that I really... I enjoy it and I hate it at the same time. Because it's, it's that type of game I look for. You know, action RPGs. With difficulty, which is good. It's it's engaging. It's just really salt inducing. And as I said before, I don't like the rage. Because, you know, I feel guilty every time I do rage afterwards. Because it makes me feel like that's not that's not great that's not great commentary is to be raging all the time. Now, I'm not Nova. I can't get away with raging in a funny way. I just can't. You know. Everyone else can rage probably in a fine way when I rage it sounds like I'm just a, a bitch basically if it makes any sense you know how my voice gets my voice gets all high I'm like what the fuck man like that, that that's not that's not really raging but just it doesn't sound good when I do it it sounds hilarious when Nova does it even when a lot of other youtubers does it even when Seamus does it it's, it's hilarious by the way still like desperately wanting to watch Seamus's Dark Souls playthrough Eventually, I will just do it, but not not now. We're we're close to the end of Dark Souls Three. I can feel it. We got to be close. And because we're close, I'm gonna hold out just a little bit longer, and then watch like just binge watch it when I'm done with the game. Then again, who knows if I will officially be done with the game after you beat all four main bosses? That's usually not what ended the game before. I'm not sure if there's DLC in the game either. Sins is really good. I'm not sure if there's DLC in the game. I mean, I did buy the season pass, I think. Or the deluxe version, or whatever it's called. Either way, if there's bonus content, then I will probably be doing said bonus content. And probably be raging through said bonus content. Seeing as bonus content in the past has always done me well, right guys? Anyways, I'll shut up about Dark Souls now since that's probably all I've that's literally all I've been talking about since the start of this video, so. Long story short, I'm gonna be playing another game on top of it, you know, just to get more series on the channel. Continue getting series that I've played previously and I kinda wanna redo on the channel going. Regardless of them all being Mario games. That's what this channel is about, me playing my childhood games. You know. I want to play all the main series that I that I enjoyed and put them back on the channel. Whether or not that includes Kingdom Hearts is a questionable one. I really did enjoy Kingdom Hearts, I'll say that much. Whether or not I want to play through it again, eh, I mean, I don't know. It was pretty fun. Again, I did really feel bad when I got comments saying that they were in the middle of watching the series and then I closed the channel. That that just like made me feel like complete shit. Wait, what? What did I get hit by? I guess I got hit by a Loki shot. I didn't even see it. I did literally not even see that shot. I'm not even concentrated on the run right now because it's so easy. Like this is one of those runs where I can literally just commentate and not not focus on concentrating on dodging or anything because this it, it's pretty straightforward. Like, literally, I think I've been trying to treat this as a lost run. Like, every time I get hit, I feel like I'm just going to die for some reason. I don't really know why. It just, it's been scaring me every time. And I think it might be because I just, I just watched Northern Lion play a lost run. So, now I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a rock there. Now I'm just questioning every time I take, take damage. Like, am I going to die? No, I'm at pretty much max HP. I ain't got nothing to worry about. But yeah, I, I realize I'm going to disappoint some people on this channel with the, my game choices, you know. I am a Nintendo, Ninten, what they call it, Nintendork is what they called it, I believe. I grew up with Nintendo, of course, all of my, most of my playthroughs, well, not most, but some of my playthroughs, a lot of them probably in a row are going to be Nintendo related, you know, there's not really much I can say about that. Now, obviously, they'd, they'd be more Sega related if, you know, Sonic came out with some actual game. <laughs> 
too bad I don't know what Sonic is anymore. No, I mean I do. I'm not gonna turn my nose up at Sonic. Sure, he's not going through a rough time, but he's going through a rough time. But that don't mean he's still not one of my favorite video game mascots of all time. I grew up with that man. I grew up with Sonic and Mario. That's why those are like a lot of my playthroughs, or at least a lot of my first playthroughs. And once once I get through all the Sonic, well, I'm not gonna play a lot of Sonic games. Probably just like. Eh, maybe, maybe just like the main old older Sonic games, Sonic one, two, three, maybe Sonic Generations. But once those are out of the way, oh my God, does this work? Hold up. Nope, I just took Brimstone for no reason. We need Sad Bombs to make that work. Uh, that'd be hilarious. Um, I guess I'll take this and leave. That's epic fetus that works like that, not Dr. Fetus. Oh man. That would have been so cool though. Just to freaking get Dr. Fetus Brimstone and have it just wreck everything. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. I may not I may not play through the Sonic games again. I mean although I want to, because it's been a while since I've played them. Like I said, childhood memories there. If I do, it'll probably be on like I always wanted to do the Let's Play Live thing, man. I wanted to do a live stream like every so often, like maybe every Friday or every Saturday, where I just, you know, play a bunch of games on live stream. I was planning on doing like a retro live stream a while back, but then again, I don't know what happened to those plans. I guess I kind of went back on it thinking, eh, no one's going to watch that. No one's going to really care. It's a bunch of older games. No one cares about older games. It's all about newer games nowadays. And, you know, that's unfortunately true. It is unfortunately true. Um, well, we don't need Rosary anymore since we took Brimstone for no reason. Oh, bye. That was an unintentional bomb bounce. Oh, man. But, you know, whatever. I'll just do me. Like, I don't really care if I don't get any views anymore. Like I said, it, it's not going to bother me anymore. These videos are going to go up no matter what. You know, you can send a postful, a hateful comment. You can dislike the video. I don't really care. Do what you got to do. You know, you're the viewer. I'm just a, I'm just a creator. I'm just here to play these games and have my fun and spread, you know, joy through these videos. If you just so happen to enjoy them as much as I do, then that's awesome. Otherwise, just like like I said, I don't care. I don't know if that was another Isaac video where I was just like, you know, you want to dislike, I don't care. I'm pretty sure that was an Isaac video. Like, maybe like five episodes ago. Maybe six or seven. I don't know. I think it's been a week since then. I remember my little brother told me, like, man, that's a depressing end to a video. But, yeah, it pretty much was. Like, I was a little coming off of the fact that I think one of the... One of the Yu-Gi-Oh videos got two dislikes just because, I mean, just because. So I'm just like, yeah, maybe, like I said, and then, then, like, I immediately questioned, like, me being the one doing the playthrough, because, like, I, like I said, I was just being a, a complete novice in that game until we made a deck that was basic enough for me to, oh, God, for me to know what I was doing, but, you know, like I said, I never, I, I don't think I ever thanked Daniel for helping, for helping me out. I meant to thank him. Like, I had to thank him for, like, helping me get the channel back out there to the people who, you know, were subscribed to it. I said I probably overthanked him, if anything. I think I did, like, within, like, the last, the first couple videos. But, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. What was I talking about? I, I, I think I talked about everything. Well, I was just trying to talk about the, the channel lineup. Oh, man. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's a nice day outside. Perfect day to just, you know, go outside, take a walk, do some other things out there. Well, I'll probably do these things. Probably not. I gotta get recording done. Anyway, if you wonder what's going on on this challenge run, um, 
it's not even really a challenge run it's really a take this really awesome synergy and use it run basically I remote detonator lets me detonate the bombs whenever I want which basically makes Dr. Fetus godly because that, that's the problem with Dr. Fetus is you had to aim it right but now that I don't have to now I, I can aim it but I can blow it up whenever so I can like hit an enemy even if the bomb's about to fly past them that, that's always been the problem with Dr. Fetus is landing the bombs especially when you have like spectral shots or piercing shots where you're, when your bombs just go right through every enemy and just you just be like well shit this is not helping this is this makes it useful sins are also making it really awesome for me to just not have to dodge ever because of the slow like I don't even think those shots are gonna make it to me nope they fall right there those will though I don't really care if you hit me I don't care I got plenty of HP wait where would that brimstone come from what? Did I synergize? What? They synergize? You use them both at the same time? What? <laughs> what? I didn't know you could use them both. That's awesome. That is awesome. Too, I found that out at the end, but I mean, it really didn't matter. Our, our run was already strong enough without Brimstone. Holy shit. So we've unlocked the Chaos card, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the run today. If you did, please leave a like on this time of the time. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because I'll always be more Isaac every single day. Thank you for your time, thank you for support, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time with some more Isaac. See you later.